welcome to this edition of the Win Your Divorce podcast series. This series is to kick off the mini challenge course that I have coming up in a few days that you can register for live. It is free for this round. However, it will be something I am charging for after this live session. You can register at leannoen.com forward slash win your divorce to get the videos and daily email challenges. So today we're talking about the discomfort that we women have with receiving. And this is a common theme I see with women I work with and is definitely something I have had to work on in my own journey as well. And this is really in its, the way that I like to look at it is it's, it's our inability to tap into our feminine receptivity to receive and you know, graciously feel gratitude and appreciation when someone is giving to us. This can come from past traumas, from feeling like, you know, being guilted when you were given something as a child. It could be being guilted from your parents. You know, the whole idea of like, all I do for you and treating your kids as though they are a a burden. So that could have been something. Um, but a lot of times I think it comes from just our programming as from women, as women, sorry, that we are supposed to just be able to do it all, handle it all, be everything. And this has even come more so into the forefront with this feminism movement toward women can do anything a man can do and maybe even sometimes better ladies, right? And then it's this, I can do everything myself. I don't need a man. I don't need help. And we become really bitter and bitchy and resentful because we want the help but number one we're not comfortable with receiving so that's the first thing you have to get comfortable with someone a woman that is not comfortable with receiving is going to attract a taker in friendships family and definitely in intimate relationships so ladies this is something you have to work on within yourself before you start putting yourself out there for dating and new relationships is learning how to know what it is that you want, first of all, and then being willing to receive that. So getting comfortable with receiving means you're going to be uncomfortable at first. So one of the things that I know I have had to work on, and I've noticed this with other women, and maybe you can relate, is that this feeling almost like an urge to want to give something back when someone has given you something. It's this discomfort of like, I don't know what to do with this. I feel like I'm going to owe you something. So this can come, as I said, from childhood. And then we attract partners that have that guilty, kind of that guilting energy vibe when they give you something or do something for you. Or it gets thrown back in your face once you've taken it. Or it's been given to you even without your request. This can happen with with narcissism. It's a big one. It's the love bombing. It's the -the over-the-top gestures that you didn't even necessarily ask for. And then when you set a boundary, you set a limit, you say no, that is thrown back in your face. All I've done for you, I do this for you. You can't even do this one thing for me. You're so selfish kind of thing. And so with all of this programming, and you know, I'm just doing a quickie episode here. There's a lot more depth into this that we could go into, but I'm not going to do that today. So for the topic of today, what is your relationship like to receiving and What's your relationship like to asking for help? And I don't mean nagging, complaining, bitching, and whining that someone isn't helping you, but what's your relationship to actually asking in a feminine way, in a really loving and, um, you know, soft way, like not demanding energy, not critical energy, not nagging, and not this like, oh, nobody's ever here when I need them. Listen, we can all go into that, right? That's our resentment. But then it's like, okay, so do I not have anyone in my life I can ask for help? Am I the only one that's giving, giving, giving? And that's another piece of our identity we cling on to. Like my worth comes from what I can give, 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 give others. Then I'm worthy. But then we have this weird relationship with receiving back. So The question today is, what is your relationship like to receiving? Do you get that discomfort and feeling like you want to immediately give back to someone when they have given to you? Where does that come from? And then also, what is your relationship like to asking for help or assistance? So those are some things you can journal about, jot down, and 
dig deeper into. Something I'm really excited about as well that I've decided to open up, at least for this challenge, I may leave it open, I will see, but I have started a Mighty Network free group for women who are in this challenge to discuss these concepts further in there. And as I said, I don't know if I'll leave it open forever, but it is off of social media. You can get the app and come in and check it out and be part of the conversation. It's a bit of an experiment because I'm really trying to move off of too much social media. I closed my free uh, social media Facebook group. And so I want to try something different. If you'd like to be part of this community, you need to sign up for the challenge to get that secret group link. So head to leannoten.com forward slash your divorce to get in the challenge and get that secret group link. And I hope to see you inside.